Hi, this is Miss Martha again, and I want to do some fun projects with you and your child. Um, today, the purpose of our lesson is gardening, and we're going to learn about science. And you are the first teacher of your child. So we are going to be learning about our natural and physical world. So we're gonna watch how your child responds to nature, examines, names, and has actions that are helpful to nature. The next thing that we're gonna look at will be math and measurement. Does your child explore? Does he feel, does he stack, does he use measurement terms? The third thing that we're going to be looking for is also math, is data analysis. Does your child show interest in collections and collect objects and group things into two or more in his collection? Does he represent data in concrete ways? So to start, we are going to be planting seeds and we want to use things from your home. So um, I've got some mason jars that oh we've got the fan going so we have to put this right there so we have some mason jars and, and this is a recyclable um jelly jar right here and what we're going to do is what you need is a jar any kind of container um some rocks if you use mason jars we've got some soil this is a potting mix there's a difference that there's a potting mix than potting soil because the potting mix is more for like starting seeds and and then we have to have some seeds. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our jar and you can have your child to go out in nature and pick rocks and you can let them examine the rocks and look at them. They can count them and, and so um, uh, just gently put the rocks in your jar okay and so he's filling the container and then the next thing we're going to do is put our potting mix and this is what our potting mix looks like it has all kinds of things the nitrogen and the potash so um i'm gonna make a little mess if i'm doing it over here right we get it almost to the top so there you go and then um, we pick a plant so I'm going to pick the peppermint to put in that one and this is what peppermint looks like it's an herb and then these are what the seed they're very very tiny very tiny seeds you really only need about three, but it's kind of hard with them being so small. So we're going to just go toward the middle and plant and just cover a little bit right there. And then um, just pick another seed. We're going to pick um, chives this time for the next one. And just get your child to put holes. And there we want to plant three. Again, the chives are really small. This is what the chives look like. And this is what they look like. Okay, so um, really we're just going to put it in the middle. And just cover a little bit. And then we'll cover these with soil when we're about done. And then um, we're going to do the tomato. So this is what the tomato looks like. These are the tomato seeds. And right here we have a tomato plant. So um, I'll show you right here. I think the best thing with these are just going to be to put them in the middle and then just cover. But I want to show you this tomato plant. This is a tomato plant, and these are the blooms on the tomato plant. This is what they look like. So these are the leaves of the tomato plant. 
and you can just talk to your child about different plants and how and one of the things is when you have infants you have to be really careful because they put everything in their mouth so um, be sure like when you're doing the rocks and the soil especially since it has certain things in it that you really don't want in their mouth um, just be careful with that and then also just you know talk you know this is the soil we'll put it in we're putting the seeds and and so um, this is what you know the seeds look like this is what the tomato looks like from the vine and so we just got this from from the um, grocery store and this is what the tomatoes look like after they are grown and then um, these are some wild onions with the roots right there you can talk about the roots and um, the wild onions like that you can get out of your yard and then this is one from the grocery store with the roots right there and the roots you can talk about the roots needing water to drink and and the stem and so um this right here the peppermint we can use for um and you can talk about the uses like you can use peppermint for teas you can use with the tomatoes you can use um, make sauces with it and then like with an oregano plant Right here, you can um, you can show them like spices. Like this comes from a plant, and we use it in our spices. So, also we have um, flower seeds, the marigolds. Let me show you what this looks like. And marigolds are wonderful to put in um, your vegetable garden because they help get rid of the bugs. So it's called companion planting. So if you um, if you plant, that's way too many. <laughs> but um, if you plant these in your garden with your tomatoes, they help get rid of the bugs. And so flowers like that, and um, you can just talk about their companions, and they they're like friends. The flowers are friends to the fruit, and they help keep, keep the bugs away. So um, we can add right here you can add the marigolds right here and so we're going to cover these right here with some potting soil oh you know what i can use a smaller one right so we have tools for our garden we can talk about the tools that we use and we can talk about one is big, one is small, and you can talk about the difference in, in size in that. And um, so using a smaller tool to cover them would be a lot better, right? So we're gonna cover these. We don't need a whole lot to cover them, okay? All right, so, um, and then you can talk even about, like, you can get them to group and, and go from small, medium, and large, small, bigger, biggest. You can go, which one is, which one of these have more? These have more. You can count them. You can, you know, um, talk about how water is beneficial to, um, to plants and that they need water to grow. They need um, sunlight to grow. They need soil. They need the nutrients in the soil. They need the nitrogen in the soil. So um, this is just kind of a you know an idea of something that you can do at home. Now I'm going to show you my pizza garden. I promise I'm going to show you my pizza garden that I made with recyclable materials, with some logs we found and some bricks. And so I can't wait to show you that promise. So look for my next video on that and have fun with your child and let them explore and, and, and have fun. So thank you. We wish you well.